Okay guys, here's another quick tutorial. Uh, this is similar to my last video where I talked about the difference between rich black and 100k black. Um, today I'm going to talk about how uh, Illustrator has these default print swatches and most of them are great except for this one. <laughs> uh, and that is the blue swatch. So um, if you've done this before, you go to swatches, open swatch library, default swatches print because you're wanting to set this up for print and you come in here all of these are great so you know if I click on this the color will come up here so click on the red 100 magenta 100 yellow great that is perfect CMYK red um, it doesn't print perfectly on every printer but that is usually uh, true red on on CMYK values uh, same thing for yellow 100% yellow Greens 100% cyan, 100% yellow. There are different ways to get other greens here, obviously, but that's just kind of a pure, pure true green. Uh, same thing here, 100% cyan. Yep, that's what you get. Then we go here, 100% cyan and 100% magenta. This is not going to print blue. It may appear somewhat bluish, but it's really going to print purple. And I think my screen looks a little bit uh, closer to purple than uh, some I've used in the past. I've got a little bit better monitors now than I used to have when I first got started. But um, also, this swatch used to be named CMYK Blue. Uh, way back in Illustrator CS 4, 5, or 6, somewhere in there. Anyway, uh, at least now it's not named that, thankfully. But um, just to make sure nobody makes this mistake and picks this thinking they're going to get a blue here's what you really need to use one of these probably uh, this is kind of my go go to default blue 100 cyan 75 magenta and zero and zero for yellow and black this will get you a nice very standard blue and if you need a little bit darker you come here you add 25 black maybe 15 maybe 50 if you want it really dark okay and you can vary these up. These don't have to be exact. Again, you could be 90 cyan, 70 magenta, or 85, 60, or 160, or something like that. You'll just get different shades of blue that way. And, you know, play with it. Maybe do some test prints. Get a printer to print you out some swatches if you're not sure which blue you need to use. Go to the printer that you like to use. Have them print out a wide range of CMYK values. Then you can always pick the one that you want to use, put it into your computer, uh, and then you, your output will not uh, be different from what your desired output is. Because um, it's hard to tell sometimes just based on the screen. I think if I look, you know, you can tell that that's uh, a very modest purple, but it's still purple. Um, but some monitors, if they're not as good, it's hard to tell. If you're not calibrated, it's really hard to tell. And on YouTube, this may not look as good. It's, I don't know. I'm, I'm making it now. I haven't seen what it looks like when we get it out on YouTube. It may not, uh, it may not appear to be purple at all. It may look completely blue. We'll see. And, of course, that will depend on your monitor, too, because you're going to view it on something differently than what I'm going to view it on. But anyway, uh, good rule of thumb. Stick to this side if you want your blues. This is going to be purple. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video.